There's the old writing desk that Barbara got. There's our inflatable bed. My computer. There's the window. And all the windows have the same view here. Out to the Buddha Hills. And then the castle hill is that way to the left, but you can't see it. So we're coming back inside. This one we're thinking would be a kid's room because it's on the far side of the house. There's the double doors and then you come in here. Um, this room just to the right is the bathroom and then over there is into the little dining room. And this room we're talking about would maybe be a library. Here's another, also these are all the floors are like this, the old parquet floors. And Barbara bought this one with the apartment. It, it was original with the apartment. So it's pretty nice. This is in nice condition. And then, then we have the living room over here, which connects also to the small dining room with the double doors with the glass. All the ceilings are huge, like three meter ceilings. Um, these are the royal castle chairs that Barbara got also. They came with the apartment. And then that piece back there the matches the, um, matches the hutch cabinet in the other room. So there's another window there, which we have open. And all of these windows have the original the wood blinds. And then in here is master bedroom. Um, also, big ceilings and the nice floors. And then this has the doors out to a little balcony and looks out over the Buddha Hills and the castle. And then we go back inside. <clears throat> and this room, this is a problematic area. I'll explain it as best I can, but through there is the old maid's room, which you only can get access to now by the kitchen. And these doors lead to the entry area. So my plan right now is to cut this wall about here and make a bar, a kitchen kind of a bar, like right there. And then we would put a door here going into a closet space behind there. But if I go through, uh, this is the other door to the bathroom. And this is the entry, the main entry into the house. Um, toilet is here and then there's Another little, um, uh, you can't even see, but it's huge uh, closet shelves. <clears throat> and the kitchen. Now, the kitchen, the plan that I would like to make is to take out all of this here. Starting with these double doors and wall up this, make a curved, curved wall. So the bathroom can be made a little bigger and add a second toilet. These doors go out, this wall out. And when you come in the kitchen, this is where the bar would be, the, the breakfast bar. And all of this wall would be open. So it would look out onto the living room. Um, this door goes out to the back patio, which we can't get onto right now because the neighbor is a wacko, but he's moving out. See, he put a refrigerator in front of our door so we can't get out. But that is the back area. And then in here is used to be the maid's room. So this wall here is where I would put the door into the little dining area 
and then this becomes a huge closet just for storage and this bit where I was standing we basically expand the kitchen out here so the sink would be by this window sink here refrigerator where I'm standing and then the, the little breakfast bar going out that way um, and cabinets above and get rid of this obviously this sink and this wall everything get rid of make it flat against that wall into the corner so sink and then a stove here and over here like a little table or drawers or something and even there's this original stone which is kind of manky right now but we're trying to figure out a way to save it we would like to we're thinking about maybe taking it up getting it cleaned up and then putting like a two pieces of dark wood and then a row of stone and then two pieces of dark wood and a row of stone so we can continue the stone all the way out into the old uh, servants quarter there so that is that is our apartment and you see here this is the wall if you get rid of this wall you would look right out into this and the main windows which get sun all day every day it's um southern um, southern southeastern facing i guess so this sun would come straight in this area straight back to the kitchen that would be pretty nice